Welcome back to TLDW, where we're summing up The Sky is Still Blue Part 2. In Part 1, we saw Jinling, the daughter of a successful tech company, start her own venture, HTB, in hopes to help bankrupt clients back on their feet again through many of her different wits and strategies. As for Part 2, rather than flooding you with more bankruptcy stories, we will focus on Jinlin. Jinlin's dad sees the ghost of his ex-wife Joanne at a mall and does what every normal male would do, hire a PI to investigate. The ex-wife happens to be Jinlin's mum, though Jinlin has yet to find that out. Jinlin's dad meets Joanne, offering to help her get back on her feet after finding out she too, to fit the theme of the show, is bankrupt. Some background on their past, they decided to get married when they had Jinlin, who's actually adopted. Soon after, they get a divorce because their dynamic didn't quite fit. Jinlin's dad was so focused on his work and little Jinlin that he didn't reciprocate Joanne's feelings. Not getting the love she so craved, she goes crazy, which is good timing for some Pan Ling Ling Oscar level acting. Ooh, Okay, back to the present, HTB lands a new bankruptcy case with, guess who, it's Jin Ling's mom. But Jin Ling doesn't know it's her mom. She's got a serious case of, don't remember this lady having not seen her since my childhood. The dad happens to walk into the meeting room during their case breakdown and sees his ex-wife on the screen, gets a bloody shock. So he devises a plan to distract Jin Ling from the case to protect her from knowing she was adopted. To do so, he opens a new company. Rich People Things, managed by HTB members, and secretly hires the ex-wife as a consultant. But Jin Lin smells something fishy, so executes her borderline illegal tactics by peeping into her dad's laptop, revealing the PI's files and identity of the ex-wife. Jeng Jeng Jeng! Joan Xiang, is mommy? Yes, it's your mom! At the same time, Joanne also finds out the truth about the new company being a pity project by the ex-husband and flips out again. Her hatred for him keeps growing. Joanne makes her moves by getting in contact with Jin Ling. Leveraging on this new relationship, she blackmails the dad for money or else she's gonna snitch on Jin Ling's adoption. The dad offers 5 million nothing more. Hey, but who's that in the distance? Jin Ling! The mom notices this and immediately puts up another Oscar performance, candidly mentioning her adoption. Now suddenly she's the hero exposing the truth about her childhood. Jin Ling goes into a mental breakdown, not knowing who her real parents are. She revisits Joanne another day and she spills the tea regarding her past. How her parents had murdered each other, caused by the affair that her biological mother was having with her current dad. An emotional Jin Lin decides to confront her dad about it and gaslights him, saying that he only adopted her out of guilt. He's heartbroken hearing such words from his baby girl. Like literally heartbroken, like he gets a heart attack. <laughs> After the dad is hospitalized, Jin Lin moves in with her mom. Naturally, she tries driving a bigger wedge between her relationship with the dad and next snoops into his company to steal his clients. Oh, this is one toxic ex. But by the time she holds the board meeting, daddy's home. He knew of her ploys all along and has her arrested. After this whole tobacco, Jin Lin visits her real parents at the Columbarium and finds out she actually has a distant relative, Robert, who settled their funeral back then. She visits him and asks him about her parents, but he claims he doesn't remember much. Oh, by the way, keeping on theme, this fella also bankrupt after his antique scam business went under. Some nights passed and Jin Lin's lost memories from her childhood start coming back. She recalls the day of her parents' murder and remembers a scar on the assailant's arm. She reports back to Robert to see if that could jock his memory. He gets dismissive and tries to leave. But as Jin Lin pulls him back, she also coincidentally pulls up his sleeves, revealing scar. Robert's like, oh no, quickly knocks her out and kidnaps her. As a hostage, her memories all come flooding back and also coming to the realization that her current dad is innocent. Robert calls her dad asking for ransom. Of course, the dad comes for his precious daughter. Money or life, Robert wants both. The two fight it out. Robert wins against the dad. Okay, 1-0, then goes next against Jun Lin. Easily wins that one too. And just as Robert's about to end our series, remember Huo Yao? He arrives with the reliable SPF reinforcements. Jin Lin sobbing at her dad's lifeless body as we see into his visions of the afterlife. Wait, since when is it that kind of show? 
He meets Jin Ling's biological parents. Okay, this stuff's getting a bit out of hand. They tell him it's not his time yet, and that he still holds the responsibility to take care of Jin Lin. He returns back to Earth and reunites with his precious daughter. <laughs> to wrap it up, Hua Yao quits his job to carry on HTB, while Jin Ling announces that she plans to take over her dad as CEO so that he can retire. And this amazing jump shot freeze frame! And with that, with TLDW, the sky is still blue. Hope you've enjoyed the series. Remember to like, share and subscribe and let us know what other shows you want summed up. See you next time!